Let's move on. The plans for a new university in Peterborough have stalled with a new report saying the project could be impossible to achieve. A new university in the city was a flagship policy of the mayor, James Palmer. More than £600,000 has already been spent. So what happens now? Here's Hannah Olson. In three years' time, this green space on the outskirts of Peterborough could look very different. The plan is for it to be the home of the University of Peterborough. I think that kind of energy this close to the city centre as well is going to have a fantastic impact. Uh, it will be a real boost to the nighttime economy. Having a university here to support uh, business growth, productivity and innovation uh, within the local economy will really help businesses to grow and become more competitive. Peterborough is one of the biggest cities in the country without a university and it's something people have been calling for for decades. The devolution deal seemed to finally provide the will and money for it to happen, but a new report has put the project in doubt. The plan for the University of Peterborough is for it to evolve out of this university centre. Students can already study for degrees here, but at the moment they're accredited by Anglia Ruskin. The plan is for the centre to be able to award its own degrees by this autumn. Then, by 2022, up to 3,000 students will move to the newly built campus, going up to 12,500 students by 2030. All of this will cost around £60 million. But will these ambitious plans actually happen? A damning review into the project has recommended that it is reassessed because, while there is a common high-level vision to deliver a new university, there is significant divergence of views about how best to achieve this outcome. The review adds that the fact that the combined authority and other organisations aren't communicating well is jeopardising the university being built. I think uh, it's a kick in the teeth for the people of Peterborough uh, because they were promised they would get something which they've wanted for many years, many decades. and. They thought there was some opportunity, there was some hope, there was a better future for their children, for their grandchildren, and for now, for them to be messed around and, 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 and be told that the leadership has no clear direction, that this might happen, it might not happen, uh, is very, very disappointing. When he was elected mayor, James Palmer said a university for Peterborough was one of his priorities. He insists that's still the case. Well, I can absolutely reassure the people of Peterborough that they will get the university that they promised. They will get a high quality university and it will be delivered uh, by the 2025 deadline that's been set, that the full independent university for Peterborough. There is no uh, pause from us in this. We are absolutely 100% committed to it. I'm 100% committed to it. We will deliver the university and it will be something that Peterborough will be very, very proud of. I suppose what I'm not clear on is if. Um what is the point of difference that now needs to be kind of paused and reflected? What, what is it? Of course, you have, you have slight nuances in, in the way that people think, but it's about listening to those and then creating a single vision. And that's exactly why we have these reviews. Down the road in Northampton, they know all too well how hard it is to set up a new university. They've been up and running since last September and have this advice for Peterborough. You know, it's quite relatively straightforward to set up a private university. We have a publicly funded university, difficult as Peterborough are finding out. I think um, uh, the key thing is, is to make sure that w whatever they do, it is rooted firmly in the community. So the university is a community-based asset, is the sort of jargon that we would use. Um, and also making sure that the university is providing the right skills mix for people in the area. And that involves working with businesses as well as educational experts. The Peterborough University project is now in a period of pause and reflection, but the leader of the City Council is sure it will happen. We are trying to build Peterborough a university to be proud of and a university of the future and a university that will work for Peterborough. So lots of promises, but it's an uncertain time in politics, so all the people of Peterborough can really do is hope the plans don't get kicked into the long grass.